My name is Katie Rosenhaus. I'm a pastry chef living in New York City, and I'm here for eHow.com to show you a really easy way to make a triple chocolate banana split. So I'm going to get started with, I have some brownies that I made. And all I did was, when I made my brownies, I let them chill really well. Um, I even popped them into the freezer for about half an hour after they're nice and cool. And that way you can cut out a perfect round. You can do squares if squares is your thing. I like rounds because we're doing kind of a traditional plated dessert. It is a banana split, but we're going to be just a tad fancy. So the next thing I'm going to do is my banana. Like any good banana split, this banana split has sliced bananas, but what I'm gonna do that's a little different is I'm going to brulee them. So I'm just gonna cut nice slices, enough to cover my brownie, and you're gonna see all I'm gonna do is kind of shingle these over. You know, go even thinner than I did thin enough that they can kind of stack on top of each other and they aren't really going to move around. You could see me wait, making my way around the edge. And even that many is perfect. And all I'm going to do is take a little bit of raw sugar, or you can use granulated, sprinkle that right over. And with my little handy dandy kitchen torch, I'm just going to come in and lightly caramelize the sugar on my bananas. You could see I'm holding it just steady in one spot and working my way around. Really nice and gentle. You don't want to go so close that you're burning your brownie by accident, although a smoky brownie is quite delicious. But just cool those off just slightly. Don't touch it right away. You're going to burn your fingers. But put the torch down. And you could see I worked right on a cookie sheet, so I'm also not going to burn my surface at all. We're just going to leave that alone. The other things I need are, I have chocolate ice cream, because this is a triple chocolate, chocolate dessert, and two kinds of chocolate ganache. What ganache is, is essentially I boil heavy cream and pour it over chopped chocolate. And we can see I get this really beautiful, thick, luscious chocolate sauce. This is a milk chocolate, or I also have white chocolate. So we have both of those ready to go. I have some whipped cream. You could see in my stand mixer, or you could do it with a hand mixer, I just took some heavy cream and a little bit of powdered sugar, and I just whipped it until it was nice, medium peaks. We want it enough that it's going to kind of hold its shape on top of our sundaes. And if you wanted to, actually a really fun thing to do is just take a little bit of melted dark chocolate and just drizzle right in to my heavy cream. You could see. This is almost going to make a chocolate chip whipped cream. Really fun. So I'm going to whisk that around just to combine. You can see instant chocolate chip whipped cream. Delicious. So the chocolate continues. The last thing I'm going to do is a little bit of decoration for my sundae. So I know this is getting totally complicated and you're thinking, why am I doing all of this? But you are going to impress your friends so much that they will never buy chocolate sundaes again that you did not make. So all I'm going to do is I have a little bit of ice water in a bowl and that same melted chocolate, you can either melt it in the microwave or over a double boiler. And just with a spoon, I'm getting a nice steady stream and I'm just going to drizzle right into my ice water. And you're looking at this and saying, what are you doing? But believe me, this is going to be beautiful. What that ice water is going to do is instantly set or harden our chocolate. And you get this really beautiful kind of avant-garde chocolate decoration, which is really gorgeous. So all I'm going to do is kind of let that chill out in the fridge. We'll put this right on our plate and chill that for just a minute. And I'll be right back. So while I'm waiting for my chocolate decoration uh, to chill in the freezer, I have my brownie with my bananas. I'm just going to start by putting that right on my plate. And you can see I'm using this beautiful black slate to kind of 
even further enhance how chocolatey this dessert is. But you can use any dessert plate or any plate that you like. And now all I'm gonna do is scoop a big scoop of chocolate ice cream right over. My ice cream is starting to melt just a little, but should be perfect. And again, this is a very a fancy take on a banana split, so it's a little smaller than maybe I would normally eat but it's good. A little bit of my chocolate sauce. Kind of swoop it all around. Beautiful, and a little bit of the white chocolate. Same thing. And a little bit over. Add my whipped cream. A nice dollop of that. And if you wanted to, you could just heat your spoon just slightly. Ooh. And this will make even a fancier scoop if you have a little torch at home. You could see that now we have kind of a perfect, what's called a canal. Last, I'm going to grab my chocolate decor, and we're just going to finish this off with a really beautiful chocolate decoration. And that is it. I don't think this dessert needs anything else. A really beautiful but really easy triple chocolate banana split. Enjoy. Thank you so much.